10 years ago, Nikola Jokic was drafted to the Denver Nuggets with the 41st pick. And he might be the greatest draft steal of all time. But what if he was picked at number one, joining LeBron James in Cleveland? How many championships would this duo win? Today we're going to find out by fixing some of the craziest draft mistakes and changing NBA history forever. To start, we have Kobe Bryant being drafted 5th to the Timberwolves instead of 13th, joining Kevin Garnett in Minnesota. As Kobe Bryant shows up to training camp, ready to dominate the league, and Kobe starts off his career very well by making an all-rookie first team, while Kevin Garnett averages 17 points in just his second season. However, this team is still too young to make the playoffs. Luckily though, Kobe's famous work ethic comes in handy because in the offseason, he rises to an 86 overall, where he battles his idol Michael Jordan in the 1998 All-Star Game, playing amazing in his second season, where Garnett has also reached the next level as he averages just over 20 points for the first time, where they beat the Mavericks in an easy sweep, going up against Karl Malone and the Jazz, where to many fan surprise, the series is very close, all tied up at two apiece. Game five coming down to the final minute. This team went all the way to the finals in real life. Lob to Carl Malone, he finishes. Malone playing some good defense. They get it to KG, it's stolen by Carl Malone. Carl Malone comes and sets a screen and rolls, pull up mid range and he hits it, tying up the game. Driving in on Carl Malone, tough shot. Kevin Garnett with a huge mid-range bucket. Carl Malone, Kevin Garnett playing good defense is blocked by Kevin Garnett and they're stealing game five. As they go back home, the Timberwolves win in a huge upset as they take down the Jazz by over 20 points. And since Shaq is all alone here in LA, he's no match for this brand new duo. As Minnesota beats them in a pretty tough six game series, where in just Kobe's second season, he is already an NBA finalist, where he would play against his idol, Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls, where it's not surprising at all that the GOAT takes a solid 2-1 lead. Game four, going down to the wire. Kevin Garnett looking for the cut, they go into him, he's guarded by Dennis Rodman. KG, tough shot, puts it in. Can't find the shot, I don't know why they're not going to MJ, they go to MJ, this is the matchup we wanted. Michael Jordan, mid range, misses the shot. Michael playing some good defense, fade away. Kevin Garnett with the huge post fade away to go up four. And so Kobe Bryant and the Timberwolves will be tying up the series. But the Minnesota Timberwolves won't go down without a fight because in game five, the Bulls have a two point lead late in the fourth quarter. Michael Jordan at the line looking to take a four point lead here in this massive game five as he does. Kevin Garnett with Rodman guarding and pulls a mid range and misses. Driving in on Kobe. Jordan, Michael Jordan with the big shot over Kobe Bryant. So the Bulls will take a 3-2 lead, where as expected, Michael Jordan teaches a young Kobe a lesson as he blows them out in game six, winning yet another championship and his six finals MVP. But after that deep playoff run, both Kobe Bryant and Kevin Garnett are now above a 90 overall. Well, for the first time, the young duo in Minnesota make all NBA teams. And something feels different because the Timberwolves officially have legit playoff experience, where this Trailblazers team is no match for Kevin Garnett and Kobe, as they beat them in four games, playing against a newly formed Rockets super team, where the power of Scottie Pippen, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Charles Barkley is just too powerful, taking them out in six games. In the offseason, though, Kobe and Kevin Garnett both reach a 92 overall, where Kobe begins to take over in scoring as they both make all NBA teams. And with four years of legit NBA experience under their belt, NBA fans feel like they are finally ready to win an NBA championship as they sweep through the Denver Nuggets, continuing their dominance through the first two rounds with a big win over the Seattle Supersonics. And they'll have to get through Tim Duncan and David Robinson to make the finals where Kobe and Garnett assert dominance over them as they take a 3-2 lead. Game six going down to the final minute and a half. Bryant with it in the post. Kobe Bryant left hook misses. Alston 
Inside. Puts in the tough layup. Post fadeaway. Great pass. It's blocked by David Robinson. Kobe off the inbound. Here he is in the post. Kobe Bryant looking for it. Another trying to get the post move back to Kevin Garnett. Isaiah Ryder, a three. Misses. Luckily, as the Timberwolves go home for game seven, it's their series to win. And Kobe Bryant is officially a two-time NBA finalist playing Reggie Miller and the Pacers. The Timberwolves are just much more talented as they take a 3-1 lead. Game five is close, though, late in the fourth quarter. Coming to set a big screen, leaving him wide open for the layup. Big possession for the Timberwolves, Kobe. Mid-range, misses. Timberwolves need to stop bad. Don't let Rick Smith get the ball. Please stop him. Please stop him. He is just too big and strong. Here's Kobe Bryant, 25 seconds remaining. Kobe, mid-range, hits it. Person in the corner, misses once again. And it looks like the Pacers will be forcing game six. And the Pacers refuse to give up, where Kobe will have to work hard to win his first championship. Kobe, it's time to take over. Screen comes. Kobe, a three, puts it in. Big shot from Kobe Bryant. One stop is all we need. Reggie Miller gets an easy layup to go. Please, Kobe, don't sell another game. Spin move. Kobe Bryant is beginning to take over the fourth quarter. Reggie Miller camping out in the corner. Lob, it's stolen by Kevin Garnett, and the Pacers will foul. And so Kobe and KG are officially NBA champions, where Garnett will take home his first finals MVP. After receiving their first ring together, both Garnett and Kobe are now 95 overalls, where this would be KG's best season yet, as Kobe helps him win his first MVP in 2001, and Kobe advances to an All-NBA second team, as he averages 26 points and 5 assists, and this duo in Minnesota is ready to go back-to-back, -back, where the Denver Nuggets don't have the tools to even win one game against the two young superstars being swept in round one and still have not lost a single game in the playoffs as they cruise through the Portland Trailblazers where they'll play Chris Webber and the Kings in the conference finals. We're in a very hard and physical series. Pause. They take a 3-2 lead. Game 6 will come down to the final shot. This is a heated series and the Timberwolves have a chance to reach yet another NBA final. Here is Bobby Jackson, Kevin Garnett. Fouls. Kevin Garnett. Post hook, he hits it. Peja, ooh, and Anderson wide open for three. And Anderson puts in a big three pointer. Big possession, spin move, mid range, misses. Peja off a screen, three pointer. Peja Stojakovic with a massive three with 2.4 seconds remaining. Two seconds left. We don't want a game seven here. Kobe. Corner, three, pointer, with half a second left. In overtime, the Timberwolves keep momentum, shutting down the Kings and reaching yet another NBA final, where this year they'll go up against Allen Iverson and the 76ers, where Iverson is nowhere near good enough to defeat this superstar lineup as he gets completely destroyed in a sweep where for a second season in a row, the Minnesota Timberwolves are NBA champions. And this year... Kobe Bryant is the finals MVP. As these two superstars collect their second ring in a row, they are both sitting at the top of the league at 97 overalls and continue to dominate the NBA, becoming the first team to have two all-NBA first team members. Beating the Memphis Grizzlies in five games, where the talk around the sports world in 2002 is Ken Kobe and KG become one of the rare teams that three-peat in the NBA finals as they beat the Suns in six games and not many people feel there's a shot that any team can take them down. Because in a weak Western Conference, there's no shot the Golden State Warriors can win as they lose in five games. And it seems like them winning three in a row is destiny as they reach the NBA Finals playing Jason Kidd in the Nets, where they are far too talented for them. Going up 3-0 and taking down the Nets in a Game 4 blowout. 
only losing three games on their way to a third NBA championship, where Minnesota is officially a dynasty. As Kobe wins his second finals MVP, his career is forever changed by being drafted to the Timberwolves. As we enter the 2000s era, a young superstar named Dwayne Wade is preparing for draft night with talks of him being drafted in number two to the Pistons. But we'll get to that later. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new, because Kobe is now officially a 98 overall as he collects his third ring, shaving his head bald. But sadly, Kevin Garnett suffers a tough injury in training camp. Now, Kobe does remain in the first team All-NBA, beating the Warriors in six games, but unfortunately losing to the Phoenix Suns in round two. Next, we have Dwayne Wade being drafted at number two to the Pistons, where he joins an already established championship contending team in Detroit. As Dwayne Wade prepares for his rookie season in 2003, he feels he can easily win a championship early on in his career, where his first season is a success as he makes an all-rookie first team. And this Pistons squad is already a favorite in the East. And with the addition of Wade, they are even more ready as they sweep through their first round matchup where they continue to run through the Eastern Conference playing Tracy McGrady in Orlando and beating him in a pretty tough six game series and the finals are in sight for the Pistons where the Pacers are no match for an all-star backcourt of Billups and Wade and the defensive presence of Ben Wallace as they cruise to the NBA finals playing the Lakers where a duo of Kobe and Shaq have ruled the NBA for the entire 2000s to the surprise of many NBA fans the favorited Lakers team goes goes down 2-1, where game four is very close late in the fourth quarter. And here comes D. Wade, Kobe Bryant guarding him, tie game 114-14, Wade inside, puts in a tough bucket into Kobe Bryant, Kobe step back mid-range, Kobe Bryant versus Dwayne Wade should be interesting. Phillips into O'Kerr for the dunk on Shaq. Here comes a screen from Karl Malone, Kobe, a three, misses. They go into Wade, guarded by Kobe Bryant. Wade, a tough shot, misses. I would give it to Kobe in this situation. They give it to Kobe. One stop is all we need. Kobe, step back. Great defense. Out to Gary Payne, three seconds on the clock. He pulls a three, misses, and the Pistons are taking a 3-1 lead. After that big Pistons victory, game five would be a blowout on the Lakers' home court, where Dwayne Wade is already an NBA champion in just his rookie season. As he collects his first ring after his rookie season, he rises to an 85 overall, where he begins to find his place in the NBA, averaging over 20 points for the first time. But the Pistons know it will not be easy to go back to back. However, they do not crumble under the pressure, as they completely sweep through the Wizards in round one, and in the 2005 playoffs, Wade has been given the go-ahead as the number one scorer on the Pistons, where their division rivals have no shot at stopping them, cruising through their first two rounds without dropping a game. And the Pistons have a legit shot to go back to back or in a slightly tougher series, they beat the Raptors in six games and are back in the finals for a second time in a row. This year, they'll play against a newly formed Spurs team led by Tim Duncan. Dwayne Wade and the Pistons take a massive 3-2 lead where the Spurs defend their home court forcing Game 7 in a huge Game 6 blowout. A big winner go home game comes down to the final minute. Second free throw is up and he misses. Big possession for the Pistons in this Game 7. Rip inside, picks up his dribble and misses the layup. Here comes the Spurs, Bruce Bowen to Manu Ginobili into Jamal Crawford and he puts it in. Billups trying to force it on Tony Parker, gets him jumping and finishes the layup. Guarded by Chauncey Billups, 39 seconds remaining into Tim Duncan and Tim Duncan gets the foul plus one and so the Spurs will take down the Pistons as Greg Popovich continues his quest to becoming the greatest coach of all time Tim Duncan winning a finals MVP luckily after reaching two straight NBA finals Dwayne Wade is now in an 88 overall and he's officially becoming a star as he makes an all-star team putting up amazing stats in 2006 and the Detroit Pistons are determined to get back the title they missed out on 
as Wade begins to take matters into his own hand, where for a second time in a row, they destroy the Wizards in an easy five-game series and beat the Toronto Raptors in an easy second-round sweep. This year, they will have to beat a young LeBron to reach the finals, where he is able to carry a trash team, keeping the series relatively close, where in Game 6, the Pistons have a four-point lead with just under a minute remaining. Here is LeBron James down four with 50 seconds remaining. Pargo, a three, he misses. And it looks like the Cavaliers will foul. And so the Pistons take care of business and will reach the NBA Finals playing Dirk Nowitzki and the Dallas Mavericks, where Wade is beginning to play like a superstar, completely dominating the Mavericks and blowing them out in Game 4, where he is now a two-time NBA champion, this year being the best player in the Finals and taking home his first Finals MVP. After taking home his second ring, Dwayne Wade is now a 95 overall, and his career has officially been changed for the better as he takes home the NBA's most valuable player in 2007, where Dwayne Wade plays amazing in his first playoff matchup, playing LeBron James once again in round two, where this year it's actually LeBron who takes a 3-2 lead. Game six, coming down to the final shot. In a huge game, LeBron James inside step back puts it in screen comes yet again for billups he gets a midi misses he's choking in the clutch about 11 seconds separate shot clock and game clock here's best eight contested three misses rasheed walsh with eight seconds here's dwayne wade now driving in inside lefty layup is good with two seconds one second lebron james misses and the Pistons are forcing a Game 7. But as LeBron goes home for Game 7, he vanquishes the Pistons in a winner-go-home blowout. In the offseason, Dwayne Wade remains at a 95 overall, where he sadly gets his first of many knee injuries. And there's completely no shot that the Pistons will be able to take down this brand new God Squad formed in Boston. After injury, Wade drops to a 93 overall, where he bounces back, finding himself on an all-NBA first team, beating the Bucks 4-1 in an easy first round series and continuing to cruise through the Eastern Conference with a pretty tough six game series win versus the Nets. Once again, playing a Celtics God squad featuring Garnett, Ray Allen, and Paul Pierce, where it's not surprising that they take a 3-1 lead. However, Wade won't go down without a fight late in the fourth quarter. Here comes the screen, Wade, into Muhammad and he gets the dunk to go in the post Richard Hamilton guarding him Paul Pierce fade away jump shot misses Perkins with the rebound and the putback here's Wade Achoo! Wade inside draws the foul oh my god we're missing free throws in the clutch are you serious D Wade at least just make this one Wade Oh my god, it doesn't seem like he wants this. Rondo, now Ray Allen is wide open in the corner. What a horrible turn of events. So it looks like the Celtics will be taking down the Pistons as expected. And it's clear that Wade's decline is beginning as he drops to a 92 overall and is now on an all-NBA third team. But losing to Dwight Howard at his absolute peak. As we enter the 2010s era, a young defensive juggernaut named Kawhi Leonard is set to be drafted in 2011, where the Warriors have their eyes on him. But we'll get to that later, because Wade is now a 91 overall, where his team is just not good enough as he misses the playoffs for the first time in his career. So it's time for Kawhi to be drafted number 10 instead of 15th. And it looks like Steph has a new and improved Splash Brother. And since Kawhi has a much bigger role than he did in San Antonio, he's able to win a Rookie of the Year award in 2012, where with Kawhi's help, Curry averages 20 points for the first time, unfortunately unable to lead his team to the playoffs. As Kawhi rises to an 84 overall, Curry also gets better in the offseason and is now at an 87, where NBA fans feel this duo is the future of the NBA. As they both average over 20 points with Curry making his first all-star team where ironically they'll play the San Antonio Spurs in their first playoff matchup where the experienced Spurs take a 3-2 lead game six coming down to the final shot David Lee now pump fake and puts in the layup into Tim Duncan he has a mismatch and he's gonna take this and finish the layup with ease unless they give it to Steph he has 14 seconds left Kawhi Leonard inside it's blocked by tim duncan curry 
a mid-range misses. And so the team Kawhi was supposed to go to takes a big win. But now with playoff experience under their belt, Curry is now at a 90 overall with Kawhi rising to an 87. And the duo is ready to take over the Western Conference as Stephen Curry is the league's MVP in 2014 with Kawhi Leonard making his first all-star team. Where in their first playoff series as favorites, they take down the Trailblazers in five games, playing Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook in round two. And this series would be very close. Game five coming down to the final minute. Curry, mid-range. He hits it. Inside. Out to Durant. He gets a three. Misses the big three-pointer. Into Draymond, and he gets the dunk. And so the Warriors take a huge 3-2 lead on the road, going back home and getting the better of the Thunder. And the finals seems to be in sight, where a Rockets team with just James Harden is no match for a backcourt of Kawhi Leonard and Stephen Curry as they completely sweep the Rockets, reaching the finals where they'll play the Miami Heat led by LeBron James. The favorite did he take a big 3-2 lead. However, the Warriors refused to give up on their home court. Back out to Kawhi, Kawhi for three, misses. Wade, up and in. And the chances for this Warriors team are starting to get slim. Here's Stephen Curry, spin, step back, mid-range. They need it. Play good defense, please, Kawhi, please. No! Warriors need a three and bad. Here's Kawhi Leonard to Curry. Curry inside. Puts in the layup. It's a one-point game. Warriors need a three with 10 seconds remaining. Stephen Curry to Draymond of all people. No, Curry! Why would you pass to Draymond in that situation? And so the Warriors will be falling just short of an NBA final. Losing to LeBron James and the Miami Heat. Hey, we need to run an investigation on Draymond. I swear he sabotaged us to give LeBron another ring. But in 2014, it's time for Nikola Jokic to be drafted to the Cavaliers, which means he won't be traded for Kevin Love, and there's a new insane big three in Cleveland. In the meantime, Stephen Curry and Kawhi Leonard are now over a 90 overall. And the Stephen Curry era has officially begun because in 2015, Stephen Curry wins back-to-back MVPs while Kawhi Leonard enters his first All-NBA team. Jokic having an all-around great rookie season where the talk around the sports team world is who will win the championship, the Cavaliers or the Warriors, because both of them are definitely favorites as the Cavaliers win their first round matchup in an easy sweep. Meanwhile, the established duo of Stephen Kawhi begin to run through the West beating and also sweeping in their first round matchup. But the Cavaliers continue to cruise in a weak Eastern Conference where the Hawks are completely no match for this God squad in Cleveland. The Warriors heading to the Western Conference Finals without dropping a game. Where the Thunder are really their only slight challenge as they force the Warriors to six but evidently lose as Kawhi and Steph enter the NBA Finals. And it seems like a Cavaliers vs Warriors Finals matchup is inevitable because LeBron, Kyrie, and Jokic only drop one game, sweeping through the Miami Heat, helping LeBron reach yet another NBA final. And this will be a very entertaining finals, where as expected, the series is very close. Game five, coming down to the final two minutes. Kawhi already getting a free dunk off the assist from Curry. They are a three, misses Jokic, a big rebound, and the putback layup. Inside, out to Kawhi. A three misses. They have a timeout, decide not to use it. Kawhi Leonard for the win. (laughs) And LeBron James and the Cavaliers take a big 3-2 lead. As LeBron and the Cavaliers gain momentum, a game six on the road is not a challenge as they defeat the Warriors with the help of a rookie Nikola Jokic completely blowing them out. Where in just his rookie season, Nikola Jokic is an NBA champion. After Jokic receives his first ring in 2015, helping LeBron and Kyrie win their first one together, he rises to an 83 overall. Meanwhile, Kawhi is officially a solid 92 overall, where he is determined to get back the championship he lost. As Jokic continues to prove he is an important piece of this roster, where his first round matchup is tougher than expected, but the Cavaliers still get the job done, while the Warriors breeze through their first round matchup in a sweep. As the Cavaliers bounce back from their sub-bar series versus the Heat, 
where the trio is looking better than ever in an easy win versus the Bulls, and as expected, make a return to the NBA Finals. Meanwhile, the Warriors continue to sweep through the NBA, completely destroying the Portland Trailblazers, where they only dropped two games on their way to their third straight NBA Final. And we have the Warriors versus the Cavaliers, part two. And this year, Kawhi is determined to finally win a championship, going up 3-1. The Cavaliers on the road forcing a game six in a blowout. Game six would be an amazing game, going down to the wire. Warriors are trying to finish and finally beat LeBron James in the finals. It will be very hard. Stephen Curry into Bogut wide open for an easy layup. Let's see what the plan is for this Cavs team. Kyrie into Kevin Love's replacement. Who is this guy? Curry, Iguodala open in the corner. Knocking down a big clutch three-pointer. Jokic is coming to set the screen. We got a tie game. Out to Jokic. He pulls a three. And Jokic knocks down the biggest shot of the night. Down three. If anybody can come back from three, it's Mr. Stephen Curry. Oh, my God. It's stolen by Kyrie. And the Warriors will foul. Interesting enough, the Cavs choked. Curry misses a three for the win. What a choke job. Wait, he actually made that? In a much anticipated game seven, to no one's surprise, it goes down to the wire. Richard Jefferson on him. Kawhi, a three, he hits it. Cavs need a bucket, Kyrie inside, puts in the layup. It's only a two point game, Warriors timeout. Kyrie guarding him, behind the back, step back, mid range, Curry. Only a three point game. Jokic, a deep three, misses. Jokic was going for it all. And so it looks like with the help of a prime Kawhi, the Warriors are finally winning an NBA championship. As Steph and Kawhi collect their first NBA ring, they both rise to a 95 overall. And the NBA has never been more mad as Kevin Durant signs with the Warriors, creating the greatest team ever assembled. Meanwhile, Nikola Jokic has reached an 87 overall, averaging 20 points for the first time and making an all-star team. And the signing of Kevin Durant does not affect the Cavaliers because this trio refuses to give up and are determined to beat the best team of all time, taking down the Celtics in round one. But most NBA fans feel it's impossible for anyone to beat this Warriors squad because a team of Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, and Stephen Curry might just be way too good. As they continue to treat the Western Conference like a bunch of junior varsity teams, they destroy the Clippers in the easiest sweep in playoff history. And the NBA might be ruined because with two super teams in the West and East, it doesn't seem like anyone will touch these teams for years to come and continue to sweep through the Bucks to reach the NBA Finals, where some fans are debating how long it will take for either team to not be in the Finals, as the Warriors cruise through the Western Conference after only dropping one game. And it's time for the Cavaliers vs. Warriors Part 3, where this series is surprisingly close. Game 5 will be one of the best 2K games I have ever witnessed. Screen comes into Jokic. Jokic fade away mid-range. Curry now step back. Three-pointer is good. It's a two-point game here. From Kyrie, he gets the switch he wants into Jokic now. Jokic, another turnaround fade away. This one's missing. Right to Kevin Durant. Durant step back. His mid-range. Miss Jokic with the board. And the Cavs have a chance to ice the game. Here's LeBron. They're really feeding on this Draymond Jokic mismatch. Jokic is choking in the clutch. And here comes Andre Iguodala inside. It's good. They go into Jokic. Jokic with one second inside. No good. In overtime, the game still cannot be decided. Jokic inside. He puts up a mid-range. Bang. Out to Draymond Green. Eight seconds left. Jokic guarding him. Kevin Durant inside puts in the layup it's a three-point game here three-point game cavaliers definitely need a bucket a quick one preferably a three-pointer into Jokic. Jokic draws the foul durant looking for the icing on the cake tough mid-range is good five seconds on the shot clock cavaliers need a quick three kyrie irving He's pretty open. Bang! Kyrie Irving ties the game with three seconds remaining. 
Are we going to double overtime here in the Bay Area? Durant, three seconds left. Tough shot, missing. We're heading to double overtime. In double overtime, the Warriors finally take the win. We're on the road. It's the Warriors who outplay the Cavaliers and have gone back to back in the NBA Finals. In the 2017 offseason, Kyrie Irving departs from the Cavaliers, giving Jokic much more touches as he rises to a 90 overall, making his first All-NBA team in 2018. And there's really no slowing down for them as they sweep the 76ers in round one, but the loss of Kyrie has clearly made them less invincible. Still winning in round two, but this year it's in six. Meanwhile, the God Squad Warriors are still the greatest team ever assembled, where the Rockets have no answer for them as they win in five games and completely sweep the San Antonio Spurs. And it seems like there's no shot that they won't three-peat as they beat the Trailblazers for a fourth time in a row. And Kawhi and Curry have reached their fourth NBA final, but Jokic and LeBron are looking to spoil the party as they reach yet another NBA final as well. And it's time for part four of this incredible rivalry where this loss of Kyrie has finally hurt the Cavaliers as they go down 3-1. And this year, Steph, Kawhi, and KD finish the job and have officially three-peated in the NBA Finals, and there might be nothing LeBron can do at this point. As LeBron leaves and joins the Lakers, the experiment in Cleveland is officially over, but what a run these two had. And Kawhi being drafted to the Warriors completely changed his career as he wins his first MVP in 2019, and the talk around the sports world is can the Warriors four-peat in the NBA, something that hasn't been done since the 1960s as they beat the Timberwolves in five games and sweep the Spurs and destroy the Suns, heading back to the NBA Finals, where they play Giannis and the Bucks, taking a 3-0 lead, and the greatest team ever assembled have officially won four titles in a row, which is not surprising, because a team of Kawhi, Kevin Durant, Curry, and Draymond would literally be unstoppable if it happened. Sadly, though, the end is near for the dynasty as Durant leaves in the offseason, with Curry hurting his wrist in training camp, as the Warriors finish dead last in the Western Conference. As we enter the 2020 era, Tyrese Halliburton is being drafted to the Warriors at number two, creating an awesome backcourt in the Bay Area. Season one is pretty average, sadly being upsetted in round one by the Nuggets. Luckily, after a great offseason, Halley rises to an 85 overall, where his stats see drastic improvement. And this year, they truly seem like final contenders contenders, beating the Sacramento Kings in a tough six-game series and continue to cruise through the Western Conference with a big win over the Phoenix Suns, heading to the Conference Finals where they'll play LeBron James and Anthony Davis in order to reach the Finals. The Warriors take a 3-2 lead, Game 6 coming down to the final minute. Or Anthony Davis has a crazy mismatch, 8 seconds left here. Westbrook puts it in! Steph. Step back, mid-range, it's good. A bucket here could ice the game for the Lakers depending on when it's shot. Russell Westbrook, stolen by Curry. And here he comes down the other end, down three. Curry, it's blocked. Curry, open for three, misses. That was a great look for three. After that big win, the Warriors head back to LA where we would have an entertaining close game seven. Draymond comes and sets a screen for Wiggins. Into Draymond, wide open layup. Westbrook, that is way too tough of a shot. Anthony Davis, the rebound and the putback. 11 seconds separate shot clock and game clock. Is it going to be Wiggins taking the shot? Curry, an open three. Bang! Stephen Curry takes a two-point lead with 20 seconds remaining. 20 seconds, Russell Westbrook with it. 19 seconds. Westbrook forcing a shot. Great defense from Stephen Curry. And so Halliburton has reached the NBA Finals where they play the Celtics, who currently have Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. The experienced Warriors take a big 3-2 lead with game six coming down to the final shot. Big possession, Tatum cutting in and gets an easy free layup. Wiggins to Draymond. Draymond Green a three, misses. Why is Draymond shooting threes? Thankfully, Kevin Looney's on the boards. For this Warriors team, if they can get a defensive stop into Tatum. Jason Tatum, come on, play good defense. Wiggins, that's a tough shot. Tatum puts it in anyway. Trying to body his way inside. It's not really working. Puts up a tough shot, and it's out of bounds. That was embarrassing, Wiggins. Between the legs, 
Into Tatum for the lob and the jam. Into Wiggins now. Please, not again, Wiggins. Wiggins inside. Misses Looney. A big rebound. Draymond was open but decided not to take it. Screen comes. Clay Thompson inside gets a free layup to go. Hands up, Wiggins. Hands up, no foul. Great defense from the Warriors to stop them. In overtime, the Celtics are down three with 20 seconds remaining. No threes and Curry and Halliburton are champions. Jalen Brown is going for two. He gets the dunk to go. Please, one stop. Three seconds. Two seconds. Oh my God, it's stolen by Kevin Looney. And the Warriors are NBA champions. Halliburton has won a championship in just his second season. As Halliburton wins his first title, his overall increases to an 87, where he's starting to find his place on the Warriors, beating the Clippers in round one, but losing to a prime John Moran in five games. As Halliburton stays at an 87, 2024 is his breakout season, making an All-NBA third team, but sadly losing to Shane the Thunder in a tough seven-game series. In the 2024 offseason, Halley is now the face of the franchise, rising to a 93 overall, where he's now a second-team All-NBA member getting his revenge on the Grizzlies in round one, and smacking the Utah Jazz in an easy sweep, where the Warriors must be Jokic to make the finals. The Warriors take a 2-1 lead, game four coming down to the wire. A minute and 29 seconds left, it's time for Curry to reach it. Halliburton pulls a three and knocks it down. Screen comes, Jokic uh, cutting and puts in the, that is a rare Jokic dunk. Tyrese Halliburton, screen comes. Halliburton, another three-pointer. Oh, that would have been big. Here's Jokic now dribbling down the other end into Caldwell Pope. Caldwell Pope for the layup. Oh my God, what a choke. 15 seconds separate shot clock and game clock. Curry cutting inside and finishes the layup. Down three, one stop. Jokic a mid-range, misses. That's a big choke from Nikola Jokic. The Nuggets will foul. As the Warriors take a 3-1 lead, Game 5 would be easy, shutting them down, and once again, they are NBA finalists. This year, playing Joel Embiid in the 76ers, where the Warriors take a comfortable 3-1 lead, completely blowing them out in Game 5, and Halliburton has successfully helped Steph win yet another championship. At 37, Curry definitely only has a few years left. Luckily though, Tyrese is now a 95 overall, but sadly, losing to John Morant, who is now at his absolute prime. We're at 38, Curry announces his last dance and retires at 39 years old. If you enjoyed this video, I know it's a little longer than usual, but drop a like and subscribe and check out this video where I made Giannis the greatest player of all time, or this one where I saved Ben Simmons' career. Peace, boys.